Okay. Chapter chapter three point one uh, trade and cash discount. Okay, this is the first subtopic for mathematical application in trading and retailing. Okay, learning objective in this chapter. By the end of this chapter, you should be able to explain, okay, what is the trade discount terms? And then calculate the, the trade discount and the net price of goods. And then explain the chain discount and find a single discount that is equivalent to a chain discount. The next, explain the, the cash discount. Okay, this is another discount, another types of discount. Okay, first we look at the trade discount. Then second, the cash discount. And then identify the situation where a trader can take a loan to take the advantage of cash discounts. Okay, yang ni dah tak ada. Determine the balance after partial payments are met. Okay, ni, ni dah tak ni, ni yang lama lah, ni dah tak ada. Hmm. Ni, ni pun, ni pun tak ada ni, ni. And then, okay, last one, so solve the problems involving trade and cash discount. Okay, so uh, kalau dalam textbook, awak boleh refer okay, trade and cash discount ni under textbook under chapter 5, page 100. Okay, so dalam textbook tu, okay, ada subtopik yang dah tak ada lah dalam syllabus. Okay, contohnya uh, 5.7 tu dah tak ada. Boring to take advantage of cash discount. Itu the out of syllabus and partial payment. 5.7, 5.8. Ha, dua ni lah yang tak ada. 5.7, 5.8. So textbook tu kalau awak nak buat uh, revision lah. Yang tu, uh, tu tak perlulah. And the chapter 5 eh, textbook. Okay, the introduction. Okay, the, the retailer buy the goods from wholesaler or manufacturer or other retailer. Okay, the manufacturer issue catalog describing the products including the list price and quotes, a discount rate. Okay, maksudnya kat sini retailer ni dia beli barang daripada manufacturer ataupun daripada kilang, pemborong. So, Kat sini, uh, manufacturer ni dia akan disebabkan beli barang secara borong kan. So, dia akan, biasanya manufacturer ni dia akan dapat discount lah. Uh, so, sama ada discount yang dia akan dapat tu, sama ada trade discount ataupun cash discount. Ada dua. Types, two types of discount. Maksudnya beli barang banyak akan dapat discount lah kan. Trade discount, trade and cash discount. Okay, biasanya untuk yang ni trade discount tu lah. Okay, so kita tengok untuk trade discount. Okay, retailer usually pay for goods at price lower than the list price. Uh, bayar uh, rendah lah disebabkan adanya discount. Okay, the basic concept. Okay, the list price is the catalog price. Means the price before before deducting a discount lah. Sebelum discount. List price ni sebelum discount. Sebelum discount. Okay, and the net price is the price that the retailer pay after reduction. After reduction of the discount. So ni internet price ni after deduct a discount. After deducting a discount. Selepas awak tolak, selepas kita tolak discount lah. 
So, awak kena tahulah eh, maksud dia. List price and ada difference between list price and net price. And the third one is the trade discount. Okay, the trade discount is the discount between the list price and the net price. Ha, ni jumlah discount lah, beza antara list price, list price minus net price. So, akan ada uh, dia punya trade discount. So, ni discount lah. So, maksudnya net price minus list price. Ha, ni awak boleh gunakan simbol ni lah, LP eh, list price. And the net price is NP, net price. Okay. Okay, this is the term involving in trade, trade discount. So, we calculate the amount of trade discount. Okay, the trade discount equal to the list price minus net price. Trade discount, TD, boleh guna simbol TD lah. TD, so the TD equal to the list price, harga sebelum discount lah, harga original or catalog price. Okay, minus the net price, harga selepas discount. So, equal to trade discount. Okay, and also we can calculate the amount of trade discount. Okay, so yang ni kita boleh kira... Uh, trade discount kalau diberi harga asal Okay, minus dengan harga selepas discount kan Okay, and then uh, this is another calculation To calculate the amount of trade discount Okay, so the list price Multiple with the the discount, the discount rate sini, List price Equal to the list price times the percent of Trade discount Berapa persen trade discount? Berapa persen discount? Okay, look at this example. Okay, the amount of trade discount. Okay, the list price of a leather belt is RM180. Okay, a trade discount of 30% is offered. Okay, so I don't know what is the net price of belt kan? Okay, so saya nak tukar lah. What is the amount of trade discount? Okay, cari the amount of trade discount. Berapa ringgit sebenarnya discount? So, the amount of trade discount. Okay, kita tahu lah kan. 30% of discount. Ini macam awak beli barang biasa. 30% of discount. And then multiple with the list price. Okay, list price ni. List price. And then it ringgit. So, you get. So, nak tekan lah. 0.3 times 180 ringgit. So, we get 54 ringgit. Okay, boleh. Okay, then. Okay, the net price. Okay, the question is the what is the net price of a belt? The net price. So, the net price is the price after deducting a trade discount. So, we know the, the list price is RM180. Okay, minus the amount of discount. 45, 55, 54 ringgit. So, we get... The amount of net price is 126. Okay, boleh. So, 126 ringgit lah. So, the net price ni harga yang perlu dibayar. Boleh. Selepas tolak discount 30%. Okay, boleh. Okay, look at a second example. Okay, the list price. Of a calculator is at ringgit. A trade discount of 20% is offered. Okay, what is the net price of the calculator? So first, calculate the amount of trade discount. The amount of trade discount is 
Okay, the percentage of discount, 20%. So, 0 0.2 lah. Convert, 20% convert into decimal, decimal point, decimal number. So, 0 0.2. Then, multiple with the, the list price. Get ringgit. So, we get the amount of trade discount is 16 ringgit. And, okay, the question is what is the net price? NP. The price after deducting trade discount. Okay, so, list price is, okay, LP lah, LP minus trade discount. Okay, the list price is 80 ringgit minus 16 ringgit. So, we get the amount of net price is 64 ringgit. Okay. Ni discount ni biasa. Okay, ada apa soalan? Ni the simple calculation. Tak ada. Okay. So, we can also use uh, this formula to calculate the amount of net price. To calculate the net price, we can also use this formula. The net price equal to the list price multiple with 1 minus R. Okay, NP is the net price. So, net price equal to L. L is, uh, ni LP lah, ni LP. L is the list price. Okay, the list price is the original price or the catalog price. Okay, multiple with 1 minus, 1 minus R. R is the percentage of trade discount or trade discount rate. Percent of trade discount. Contoh yang tadi lah kan. Look at this. This example. Okay, from question, from example one. Okay, if we use this formula, NP equal to LP. Okay, 1 minus R. R is percent of trade discount. We also get the same answer. 1, 1 to 6. Okay, LP is the list price given, 180. Okay, times with 1 minus R. R is the percent of trade discount. 30%. Okay, convert into decimal number. So, 0 0.3. So, we get the amount of, the amount of net price. 126. Nah, dia sama je. Cuma ni untuk yang ni, Second formula ni awak tak payah uh, tak payah nak kira dia punya trade discount lah. Jumlah discount dia berapa. Okay. So awak boleh guna apa uh, mana-mana formula. Okay ada soalan. Tak ada. Ada? Tak ada. Okay, look at this. Example 3. Okay, we need to offer a discount of 32%. Okay, what is the net price? That is listed at 420 ringgit. Hmm. Ini dia nak kira net price kan? Ha, terus je lah guna formula dia kan? NP equal to the list price 1 minus R. R is the trade discount. Trade discount rate. So the list price 420. Okay, 1 minus 0 0.32. Okay, so we get the amount of net, the net price equal to 
כן. מי יש לאני? Now you can do a quick check. Uh, in textbook, quick check. Can you for quick check 5A? Untuk ni? Untuk textbook awak? Tentu boleh, boleh buat sendiri lah. Okay, ada orang soalan sebelum kita pergi next. Untuk ni. Quick check ni textbook. Ha, ni awak boleh, boleh buat sendiri ni. Textbook from textbook. Do quick check 5A. Jawapan dia boleh check uh, di belakang. Di belakang textbook. Okay, the second. Second one is the chain discount. Okay, the prices of goods may go up or down due to the supply and demand situation. A wholesaler may offer multiple discount. Okay, this Chain discount involve multiple discount on the same goods. Okay, for example, a, uh, for example, a wholesaler may offer a trade discount of 10%, 5% and 2%. Okay, the multiple discount are terms as chain discount. And this multiple discount, 10%, 5%, 2%. We call it as a chain discount, a chain discount or a series of discount. Ini dia ada banyak, ada banyak percent of discount kan. Kita panggil sebagai series of discount ataupun chain discount. Okay, each discount rate is calculated on the net amount. It's based on the net amount. So maksudnya kat sini awak tak boleh terus tambahkan tau untuk percentage uh, percentage of this discount. 10%, 5%, 2% is not 17%. Awak tak boleh terus tambahkan. Tambahkan 17% kan. Okay this sebenarnya adalah less than 17%. Okay how to calculate this total percentage of discount? Okay we can use the single discount equivalent. Then nah, next topic kan nanti kita akan tengok. Okay, look at this, this example. Okay, so uh, how to calculate the, the net price for this chain discount? The net price. Okay, we can use this formula. This formula for, calcul for calculating the net price of a chain discount. Okay, so the net price equal to LP. LP is the list price. Okay, multiple with 1 minus R1. R1 is the first trade discount. Eh? Percent of trade discount. Ah, ni percent dia kan. Percent of TD. Okay, times with 1 minus the second percentage of trade discount. And then times... 1 minus the third percentage of trade discount. Okay, look at this, this example, example 4. Okay, a computer is advertised for 4,800 ringgit. Okay, less 20% and 10%. Okay, find the net price. I think kita tahu dia ada, dia beri, uh, ada dua... 20% discount dengan 10% discount kan. Nah, ni awak tak boleh terus tambahkan 20% tambah 10% nah, tu salah lah. I have to calculate the, the price, the net price. So the, the price after deducting this two discount. Nah, kita gunakan formula lah. NP, formula yang tadi. NP equal to this price 1 minus R 1 minus R2. R1 is R2. So the the list the list price is for for Okay, times one minus. Okay, the first trade is come twenty percent. So zero point two. Then multiply with the second trade is come trade is rate ten percent. So zero point 
1 minus 0 0.1. 1 minus 0 0.1. So we get the, the net price. Okay, that's right. 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so harga selepas discount ni lah, 20%, 10%. And then, okay, the total discount, the total discount given. The total trade discount lah ni kan. So, awak dah tahu harga asal, harga asal dia, 4,800. Okay, and then minus the net price, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we get the total. The total discount is 1344. Okay. Ni cara yang mudah lah. Untuk kira ni trade discount kan. Kalau uh, cara yang lagi satu awak kena kira satu-satu. Uh, Sebenarnya kira boleh kira satu-satu. Berapa jumlah dia ni. But, uh, by using a manual calculation eh? Manual calculation awak kena kira one by one eh? Untuk 20% berapa? 20% 20% 20 Times with the list price lah eh? 4,800 Berapa? 20% 0.2 4,800 960 ringgit eh? So ni dia punya ni trade discount lah eh? Trade discount for 20% Okay, and then to calculate the discount for 10%, awak kena tolak kan 4,800 minus 960 ringgit. Okay, and then to calculate the 10%, multiple with, yeah, 3840, 3840. Three. So, you get the total trade discount, total trade discount. Ini TD nya 1, TD, TD 2 kan. Kita dapat sama 1, 3, 4, 4. Sama lah dengan yang ni. Ni awak kena kira 1 by 1 lah. Kalau contoh ada 3, 3 ada lagi satu discount awak kena kira lagi. So dia punya calculation panjang lah kan. Compact tu kalau awak gunakan uh, formula. Okay, example 5. Okay, cuba example 5 ni. Okay, given a chain discount 30%, 10%, 5%. Masukkan NT equal to KLP 2500. Okay, 1 minus 0 0.3, 1 minus 0 0.1, 1 minus 0 0.05. Dari 3 kan, 30%, 10%, 5%. So, you get 1000. The, the net price is 1496.25. Okay, ada soalan? Okay, ada. Ada, so faham? Faham. Faham eh, yang lain pun sama. 
Okay, the single disc covalent. Uh, macam tadi lah yang saya mention kan. Okay, kita nak kira total percentage of discount. Of this chain discount. 30%, 30%, uh, So we use this, this formula. Single discount equivalent. Okay, the single, uh, single discount equivalent is a single discount which is equivalent to a chain discount. Okay, we use this formula. R equal to 1 minus 1 minus R1. R1 is percentage of first trade discount. Okay, times 1 minus the R2, the second percentage of trade discount. And then times 1 minus R3, the third percentage of trade discount. Okay, look at this example 6. Okay, product is advertised at 1,500 ringgit. Okay, less 20%, 10% and 5%. Okay, so find this, uh, the single discount equivalent. So, dia maksudnya dia nak tahu berapa persen, uh, total percentage lah. 20%, 10% dengan 5% ni. Berapa? Kalau tak boleh terus tambahkan kan. Kalau kita tambahkan, kita dapat 35% kan. Ha, tu salah eh. So, we can use this formula lah. Ha, single discount equivalent. Okay, so how to use this formula? So, R equal to 1 minus, 1 minus the first trade discount. 20%. So 0 0.2. Then 1 minus the second percent of trade discount. 0 0.1. Then 1 minus the third. 1 minus 0 0.05. Okay, so we get 1 minus 0 0.8 times 0 0.9. Then 0 0.95. So ni. Kena darabkan dulu ni. Multiple. So we get 1 minus 0 0.8 times 0 0.9. Kita dapat apa ni? 0 0.684. So, we get 0 0.316. Okay, convert to percentage lah. Dalam 100. So, we get 31.6%. So, total percentage of discount 31.6%. It's not a 35%. Okay, boleh? Boleh. Boleh. Okay. Rasanya uh, yang melibatkan chain discount ni kalau contohnya member ke apa kan. Kalau contohnya member ada tambahan lagi 10%. Ataupun uh, next ni 5% mungkin apa premium member. Adding 5% lagi. Okay, so the net price. The net price of this product. Oh, teruslah boleh gunakan. Kita dah tahu total. Ha, ni sama ada orang nak guna net price using chain discount ataupun net price uh, using a single discount. Dua-dua boleh. So untuk uh, using the single discount, kita ni tahu lah ni single discount ni kan. So the net price equal to uh, the list price 1500 can 1 minus uh, this Percentage zero point three one six. We get R M one zero two six. Ataupun kalau gunakan chain discount boleh sama je. Ataupun yang ni this price. 1 minus, uh, buat sesuatu lah. 0.2 
1 minus 0 0.1, 1 minus 0 0.05. So, akan dapat sama lah juga. RM1026. Nah, ni pun dapat sama lah. 0.8 dan 0.9 dan 0.95. Ada sahabat sama. So, depend pada awak lah nak mana, nak guna ni mana. Okay, example 7. Okay, the total trade discount for an item after X percent. And 5% trade discount is 200. So 200 is the trade discount, total trade discount. Total trade discount. Okay, find X. Find X. Okay, if the list price is 1,500. Okay, we can use uh, formula of net price uh, to calculate this, uh, this chain discount. Ni melibatkan chain discount kan? More than one percent of trade discount. So kita boleh gunakan formula net price using chain discount. The net price equal to the list price k1 minus r1 1 minus r2. Ha, kita boleh gunakan formula ha, ni, chain discount. Okay so the net price is okay we know the total trade discount and then we, we also know the list price. So the net price is the list price minus trade discount. Tolak lah kan. Nak tahu the net, harga selepas discount. So 1500 tolak 200. So I dapat the net price is 1300. Kita tolak kan. Yang ni. Boleh? Ni. 1500 tolak kan dengan 200. 200 ni total trade discount. And then, and then equal to the list price. Okay, the list price is 1,500. Okay, 1 minus, okay, the X, X. So, ni kita tahu lah, R1 tak tahu. So, the X lah, ni lah X. And then, 1 minus R2 is 5%. So, 1 minus 5% convert into decimal number, 0 0.05. So we get, nah, ni boleh, ni. so 1 minus x, okay, we can solve this, 0 0.95 kan. So ni awak boleh solve, ni boleh, kita boleh darabkan. So apa, the right hand side. 1500 times with 0 0.95. Okay, we get 1, 4, 2, 5. So, 1 minus X. 1,300. Okay, so kat sini, mana nak selesaikan? Ni awak boleh darab lah tadi. Okay, yang ni, mana nak selesaikan ni? Apa Satu perlu five. kita buat? Pindah kan? Pindah ke sini, dia jadi bahagi. So, 1,300 divided by 1,425 equal to 1 minus x. Okay, apa? Hmm, kalau dapat point ni, ambillah. Uh, um, 3 atau 4, 4 bulan. Ataupun ambil fraction je lah. Fraction dulu. Simple fraction dapat 52 kan. Eh? Over 57. So equal to 1 minus x. So x equal to x lah. Nak dapatkan x kan. Terbalik lah ni sebab ada negatif kan. So dia terbalik. So 1 minus ni. So 1 minus 52 over 57. Dapat 0 0.0877 kan. So equal to 
Okay. Okay, soalan. Ni awak kena applykan solving a linear equation. Solve a linear equation. Okay, ada soalan untuk yang ni? Example 7? Tak, tak ada. Tak ada eh? Semua faham eh? Okay, question 8. Okay, the net price. Okay, given the net price. Awak uh, kena tengok lah soalan dia. The net price after trade discount 10%, 5% is 2999. So, 2999 is the net price. Okay, find the least price. Uh, yang dia nak cari least price. Berapa kan? So, I still gunakan formula yang sama. NP equal to Ha, dia tak ada formula lain. Formula yang ni je awak guna. Tinggal ni awak masukkan gantikan nilai dia lah. Bila saya 1 minus so 0.1 10% 1 0.05 Kita tahu ni kan formula dia kan. NP equal to LP 1 minus R1 1 minus R2. Okay, so LP ha, masukkan. Dia nak cari LP kan. Soalan nak cari LP. And then given Ha, the net price, NP. So, 2999. Ketua LP. So, 1 minus 10%, 0 0.9. 0 0.95. So, selesaikan solve the right hand side. Kat 0 0.855 So the list price ha, nak, nak, nak cari yang ni So ni buat pergi sini lah List price equal to 2999 Dia buat kan 0.8555 855 Ni kat the list price is 3507 0.60 Okay Okay, ada soalan eh? Tengok ni Trade discount. Tak ada eh? Ya ada. Okay. You can do a quick check 5B. Facebook 5B. Okay. Look at another types of discount. Okay. Which is the, uh, the cash discount. Okay. Tadi kita tengok trade discount. Okay, and then ini, untuk ni cash discount. Okay, cash discount ni dia ada term dia lah. Term. Dia ada specific term dia. Specific term. Terms and condition. Okay, the, the cash discount. Okay, a discount given by manufacturer and wholesalers to the retailers to pay their bills or invoice within a stipulated period. Stipulated ni means specific period lah. Specific. Okay, to encourage the prompt payments of bills. Ni prompt payment ni nak bayar cepat lah kan. Quick, pay, uh, quick payment lah. Quick payment. Uh, untuk bayar cepat. So, Uh, dia diberi diberi untuk cash discount lah. So cash discount ni dia ada term and condition ni depend kepada berapa cepat dia bayar. Maksudnya kalau cepat lagi dia bayar dia akan dapat lagi extra extra discount lah. 
yang banyak uh, de, de, uh, dapat, dapat extra discount lebih tinggi daripada siapa yang bayar lambat untuk ni cash discount Okay, the invoice, okay, uh, document sent to a buyer that describe the goods and identify the condition of sale and the net amount or to the seller. Okay, and then the credit terms, okay, the conditions agreed to, to by the buyer and seller concerning the rate of discount. Okay, or the cash discount rate. The rate of discount means the rate of trade discount or the cash discount rate and the, the time limit for the discount or the credit period and the information about the shipping. Okay, usually the credit terms are shown in the invoice. Okay, look at this. Uh, cash discount terms. Example nine. Okay, explain the cash discount terms of three ten. Okay, how to pronounce it? Because it's three tens. Eh? Three tens. Three ten. One fifteen. And thirty. Ini net thirty. Ini net. Net thirty and state the credit period okay 310 the three yang awal eh 31 yang any uh, any no discount lah net 31 ni represent the amount of discount the percentage of discount ni the percentage of discount Berapa persen di sekarang? So maksudnya 3 ni maksudnya 3 persen. And then 1 is 1 persen. So ni 3 persen. 3 persen cash discount. Ini 1 persen cash discount. And the red. Okay, 10. 15 ni, okay ni represent the period, the period, the period of payment, tempo bayaran tu, berapa, okay for example, okay, if the, the invoice, okay, is, if the payment is met, Within the 10 days, ha, cerita kat sini 3, 3, 10 kan? 3, 10. Okay, kita baca satu-satu lah. 3, 10 dulu yang ni. 3, 10 means the 3% cash discount. Ni cash discount. Okay, will be given if the payment is met within the 10 days from the date of invoice. Ha, maksudnya dalam masa 10 hari, dia bayar, dia bayar invoice kan? Pem, ha, dalam masa 10 hari, payment dibuat. So, dia akan dapat 3%. 3% cash discount. Maksudnya hari pertama sampai hari ke-10 lah. Okay, dia dapat 3%. Okay, 115. Okay, 1%. 1%. First, 1 ni represent the percentage. So, 1% cash discount. Okay, will be given if the payment is made within 15 days. From the date of uh, invoice, starting from day 11 until day 15. Maksudnya tadi hari ke-10 dapat 3% kan. Eh? So, kalau bayar hari ke-11 sampai hari ke-15 akan dapat 1% je. Ini, starting, sepatutnya ni, ni from, from ni, tak boleh buat macam lah, from within, within day, Day 11 until day 15. From day 11, from from day 11 until day 15. 
Okay, and then last one is net 30. Uh, net ni no discount lah. Net ni means no discount. Net 30. Okay, full payment of price or net with no discount. No discount. Is given from day from day uh, 16 until day 30. Yeah, ataupun ni lah. With no discount is due from day 16 until day 30. Maksud kalau dia bayar hari ke-16 sampai ke-30 tak ada dapat discount. Tak ada dapat cash discount. So maksudnya kat sini awak bayar lagi awal lagi dapat tinggi lah discount kan. Eh. So ni tengok bayar awal hari dalam masa 10 hari dapat 3%. Kalau bayar lewat sikit hari ke-11 sampai hari ke-12 1%. Hari ke-16 je tak ada, uh, tak ada discount dah. So the, the credit period is 30 days from the date of invoice. 30 days. Ha, tengok ni lah dia punya full term dia kan. 30 hari je. Credit period 30 days. Okay, look at this example. Example 10. Okay, ada soalan tak untuk yang ni? Ada tak faham tak? Cash discount term ni. Untuk, uh, Madam nak tanya. Ya. Untuk yang period ni tu memang takkan lebih 30 langsung. Yang ni? Ah uh, tak ni depend depend pada soalan. Yang ni? Oh, maksudnya dia boleh jadi lebih ke? Ah, uh, dia boleh jadi lebih. Ni contoh. Ni contoh je 30 hari lah. Dia boleh jadi 40 hari. Tengok pada soalan lah. 45 hari. Ha. Depend pada manufacturer ataupun wholesaler tu lah nak bagi berapa kan. Tempoh dia, period dia. Okay ada lagi soalan? Dan percentage ni pun depend pada wholesaler. Depend pada invoice tu. Ni ni. Yang ni hanya contoh je. Ada lagi soalan? Tak ada eh? Tak ada. Uh, kalau nanti boleh terus tanya. Tak ada. Tak ada kita contoh. Example 10. Okay, an invoice of 2680 is dated 10 March. 2003 Okay, was offered a cash discount to 10, 50, net 30 Okay, find the amount of payment if the invoice was paid on 25th March Okay, first of all, you have to calculate how many days from 10 March until 25th March Okay, berapa hari? 15 hari. Ha, 15 hari kan. 10 dan 3 sampai 25. 3. So 15 hari lah. 15 days. Okay so kalau untuk 15 hari ni kita tengok refer kepada the cash discount term kat sini. Ha, dapat berapa persen? Dan tempoh 15 hari kan dia bayar kan? Berapa? Dapat 10 persen. Ha, dapat 10 persen kan? Dalam ha, masa 15 hari. So the amount of payment Ha, dapat 10% lah. So kira macam biasa lah. NP equal to LP ha, 1 minus R tadi kan. R is the kat sini untuk yang ni dalam situation ni R is cash discount lah. Okay the list price yang tadi lah. Uh, the invoice. So 2680. Okay 1 minus. Okay kat sini dia dapat 10%. Cash discount. So 0 0.1. Dapat two four one two. Okay, untuk ni the invoice was paid on first April. Okay, kira lah ten ten March until first April. 
Kena kira dia berapa hari eh dia punya ni untuk yang ni walaupun nak ada tahu dia tak ada dapat diskaun kan. Ha, kena kira 31 until 10 21 and then 1 and 1st April 1 so 22 days kan so 22 days no discount lah no discount hmm, sebab tu kat situ no discount harga dia akan bayar harga yang ialah invoice lah tak dapat discount dia kena bayar harga uh, list price Okay, so ni equal tu ni. Sebab no discount. Okay, ada soalan? Tak ada. Faham eh? Faham. Faham. Okay, example 11. The notice receive any advice 8,500 with a cash discounter Okay, 10, 10, 5, 15, net 30 Okay, find the amount of payment Payment made 2 weeks from the date of invoice 2 weeks, 14 days lah From the date of invoice Okay, so 14 days akan dapat berapa? Berapa persen eh? Cash discount 5% Haa, dapat 5% eh? Ini. ni Uh, untuk 10% ni hanya hari ke 10, hari ke 11 sampai hari ke 15 Dia dapat 5% ni hari ke 14 yang dia bayar So kira lah Untuk ni NP equal to hmm, LP Okay ni invoice 8500 Okay 1 minus 5% 0.05 Zero seven five. Okay, I saw it. Miss Nangila, Miss Nangila, topic ini. Okay, the the calculation involving the trade discount. Cash discount and transportation cost of free charge Okay ni kalau dia melibatkan dan soalan tu dia melibatkan dua lah Dia ada trade discount, ada melibatkan tiga Ada trade discount, cash discount dengan transportation cost hmm. Trade discount Cash discount And transportation cost Of free charge Okay transportation cost of free charge Are not subjected to the cash discount Okay, hence to calculate the cash discount, we should first subtract the transportation cost. Okay, if any, and also the trade discount. Okay, if any, from the invoice amount. Okay, maksudnya kat sini untuk transportation cost, dia tak termasuk dalam cash discount lah ataupun trade discount. Jadi, first awak kena tolakkan dulu transportation cost ni. Kena deduct transportation cost. Ni deduct. Nak kena tolak transportation cost dulu. Last baru tambahkan balik transportation cost. Untuk kira total payment. Okay contohnya kat sini. Okay ni ada tak? Okay yang ni tak ada transportation cost. Ha, tiga, soalan 13 ada transportation cost. Kita tengok dulu soalan 13 eh. Okay, this include a prepaid transportation cost. Example 13 ni. An invoice of 8,800. Okay, that includes a prepaid transportation cost. 150 ringgit. Date 31st May 2002. Was offered trade discount 20%. And cash discount to 15, 15, 15 and net 30. And cash discount to. Okay, find the amount of payment made on 14 Jun. So kat sini kita tahulah dia ada trade discount. Ni memang kena dia dapat lah, memang dia dapat kan. And then cash discount ni. 
So cash discount ni depend pada tempoh dia bayar Okay untuk yang ni kita tahu kan Ah tapi yang tadi ah kita kena tolakkan lah The invoice dia harga dia yang ni Sepatutnya yang dia kena bayar yang ni Okay tapi awak kena tolakkan Yang RM8,800 ni termasuk transportation cost Ha, kita kena tolakkan dulu transportation cost untuk dapat uh, untuk dapat ni the list price. So ni untuk ni NP equal to kita gunakan formula yang sebelum ni lah change discount. Betul tu guna change discount formula dia. LP 1 minus R1 Okay R1 untuk trade discount. Okay untuk yang ni cash discount. 1 minus R2. R2 is for cash discount. Tapi kita tak tahu lagi kan dia, sama ada dia dapat ke tak cash discount. So first, first of all awak kena kira dulu tempoh daripada 31 Mei sampai 14 Jun. Berapa hari? 31 Mei 31 Mei sampai 14 Jun. Berapa hari? 14 hari kan? 14 hari. Hmm. 14 days. Okay 14 hari. 14 hari dapat berapa? 15%. Ah, dapat yang ni kan? 15% kan? So tulis awak boleh mention kat sini lah. 15% cash discount. So untuk kira ni list price. List price awak kena tolak kan? Uh, 150 ni daripada yang ni 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 list part ni dia punya Invoice kan so kena tolak kan Yang ni tolak 8800 Sebab ni dia include soalan dia ni include Kalau dia exclude uh, tak perlu tolak So tolak 150 Ni untuk list part lah kena tolak Okay untuk ni 1 minus 0 0.2 0 0.2 check discount Okay so ni 1 minus cash discount 0 0.2 hmm. So jadi tadi 86 0.0 darab Lima lapan lapan dua. Lima lapan lapan dua kan? Haa. Okay awak kena tambahkan balik dengan transportation tadi. Ha, tadi awak dah tolak kan? Kena tambahkan balik transportation cost. Hmm. So payment dia punya full payment yang ni lah. Full payment yang ni tadi. Tadi adalah net, net price kan? So untuk yang ni full payment tambah lagi sini full payment equal to ha, tadi net price 5882 tambahkan 150 dapat dah 6032 Okay boleh boleh. Boleh. Ada soalan yang ni? Untuk yang ni? Kena tengok ni soalan dia include ke tak? Yang ni include ni. Kan? Kalau include awak kena tolakkan dulu. Kalau dia cakap exclude tak perlu tolakkan yang awal ni. Ada soalan? Tak ada. Madam, so kiranya formula dia semua sama je lah eh? Ha, sama je. Formula yang tadi, yang awal yang tadi kita belajar. Okay. Formula sama je. Okay, cuba kira yang ni pula. Example tu lah. Okay, so if invoice 1680 with which offer 10% cash discount and 
10% take discount and cash discount term kat sini. If he paid the invoice 6 days after the date of invoice, find the amount of payment. Okay, 6 days. 6 days yang ni lah. Yang ni lah kan. Hari ke 6. So, hari ke 6 dia dapat 6%. Ha, tu dah dia masukkan formula NP equal to LP. LP, okay ni tak ada melibatkan transportation kan. So, terus ambil je lah. 1680. Okay, 1 minus trade discount 10%. 0.1. And then, untuk cash discount dia dapat yang ni 6%. 1 minus 0 0.06. Dapatlah 14 21.28 Okay Dah habis ni Two example. Okay, tengok yang ni. Second last. Okay, example 14. On 27 April, Tara receive an invoice. Okay, the list price is given. Let's follow. Okay, the trade discount given. 6%, 5% and 6%, 5%. And the cash discount to Okay, ni. Find the total payment. Made on 10 May. Okay, so tadi kita tahu dia punya the starting date, the date of invoice 27 April. Ha, kena kira lah berapa hari kan. 27 for my uh, until 10 May. Berapa hari? 27, okay. Four oh, berapa? 30. Three days kan? Ten. Okay, 30 days. 13 days. So, 13 days ada dapat cash discount berapa? 2%. Ah, 2% kan? Eh? 13 days, 2%. Okay, ada, so, ada tak yang tak faham lagi nak dapatkan cash discount ni? Eh? Kadang uh, ada juga yang ni. Kau tak faham masuk macam mana dia dapat ni. Awak kena kira hari dia lah. Ada tak? Boleh eh semua faham eh? Ah. Biasanya student problem ah. untuk nak, nak tahu cash discount ni. Kalau yang kalau biasa lah kongsi aja face to face. Faham eh? Dapat 2% sebab dia bayar hari ke-13. Hari ke-13 ni lah termasuk dalam ni. Ni sehari ke-10, hari pertama sampai hari ke-10, 4%. Jadi hari ke-11 sampai hari ke-20, 2%. Dia bayar hari ke-13 kan. Termasuk dalam ni lah 2%. Okay dah tahu 2%, masukkan je. Okay kira ni, ah, ni total lah berapa kan? Eh? Berapa total? Tak payah kira salah satu. Kira total je lah terus kan. Satu empat, lapan dua. Masukkan NP equal to equal to LP one minus okay trade discount zero point one six one minus zero point zero five okay cash discount two percent one minus zero point zero two happy one four eight two
Itulah RE15111. Point nine eight kan betulnya. Point nine eight ke bawah dapat? Ah, nine eight kan. Okay ni eh, nine eight betulnya. Okay. The last one. Okay, the invoice date 25th January. Okay, the invoice offered trade discount 20%. And cash discount hmm. on 5th February, 5th February. The company paid 7560, including the fleet charge 100. Including to settle the the invoice okay find the list price lp okay macam mana okay yang ni including untuk tahu dia punya np awak kena exclude lah So NP equal to KLP twenty one minus zero point two one minus cash discount berapa yang tak tahu. So first of all, okay kena uh, kira berapa hari? Twenty fifth January until five February. February. Ten. Thirty-one minus twenty-five. What are the ten? Eleven. 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 So eleven days. Take us in three percent. I dapat yang ni lah. Three percent. You get three percent cash discount. Nah, masukkan LP nak cek. Okay, NP tadi awak kena tolakkan lah ni. Tolakkan ni minus hundred. So seven four six zero. Okay, LP. Okay, 1 minus 0 0.2, 1 minus 0 0.03. Zero point seven seven six LP. So LP equal to about sebelah lah kan? About sebelah. Jadi bahagi. Saya dapat one, uh, dapat nine six one three point four zero. Okay.
Ada soalan untuk ni? Sudah habis chapter 3.1 Shirt discount and cash discount So ini akan masuk dalam uh, third assessment awak Okay ada soalan? Faham semua? Faham, tak ada soalan Faham, Faham. Tak ada soalan Random Tadi uh, yeah. kan ada include dengan exclude Kalau include uh, Masa akhir sekali kita tambahkan dia Kalau exclude kalau exclude kita kena tolakkan ke tambahkan Ataupun memang tak payah masukkan apa-apa uh, Exclude Kalau mana exclude soalannya kalau contoh lain tadi ya, exclude ya, ya. Yang ni ya Kalau exclude awak, yang awal ni awak tak payah Exclude awak tak payah tolakkan yang awal ni list price dia ni Tak perlu tolakkan tapi yang untuk total payment uh, Nanti total payment awak kena tambah balik tambah, Total payment still kena tambah 150 ni Oh, okay. Apa-apa total Just payment see. still kena tambah transportation cost Tapi contoh kalau dia tadi exclude kan ha, Maksudnya awal ni invoice ni tak termasuk uh, Jumlah ni invoice tak termasuk transportation cost Tapi untuk kira full payment kita kena tambah juga 120 Tapi awal kita perlu tolak Ah, yeah. uh, Madam yang dekat soalan tadi kita buat yang kita tolakkan dengan transportation cost tu dia NP tapi yang soalan 13 ni dia dekat LP. Macam mana? Yang mana? Yang ni? Ah, yang 8800 tolak 150 tu kan LP mm -hmm. kan? Ah, ni adalah LP. Masuk awak beza dengan yang ni ke? Ah. Mm. ah. Yang ni pula kita tolak, kita letak dekat NP Oh yang ni sebenarnya Yang ni sebenarnya uh, NP ni Sebenarnya kalau kat sini awak kena kira full payment lah sebenarnya ni Full payment kan, full payment Jadi full payment Dia termasuk ni lah 7560 Kat sini Ni termasuk eh, 7560 per payment Including Okay ni include, dah include free charge kan 7560 lah ni 7560 ni full payment sebenarnya Contoh lah kalau lain awak nak buat kan macam ikut yang tadi Full payment Ni full payment kan Jadi apa apa full payment uh, sama dengan LP tolakkan dengan ni kan cost kan fixed charge kan bukan LP NP kan semai tadi NP kan ni 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 hmm. ni semai NP NP tolakkan fixed charge hmm Saya tolak buat ni, satu tolak kosong poin dua Satu tolak kosong poin kosong tiga Ni tambah, tambah seratus lah kan So for payment awak tadi tujuh lima enam kosong Nah, yang ni adalah LP. Awak punya ni bukan ni sebenarnya ni bukan LP tolak 100. Ni adalah hmm. Ini lah LP. So maksudnya ni full payment 7560 termasuk ni kan. Termasuk 
Seratus ha, sebab tu kat sini awak bawa pergi sini nanti Seratus bawa pergi sini ha, Dia akan jadi ni lah tujuh empat lima kosong Tujuh empat enam kosong Saya dapat sama dengan ni lah kak Nanti Sampai lapan Kosong kosong tujuh Dengan yang tadi, ni ya. Sebabnya yang ni, yang ni lah adalah LP awak kan? Bukan yang 8,400 ni. Ni LP dia. Okey tak? Sama je kan dengan yang ni kalau kita kita buat dia punya tu. Sebab yang kita nak kira kat sini adalah LP dia. Jadi awak tak payahlah concernkan yang tadi tu sebab diberi LP dia. LP termasuk dia punya apa LP termasuk net price dia termasuk sekali transportation cost. Okay ada lagi soalan? Uh, saya Melam hmm? Yang example 10 tu Yang B tu Melam Sepuluh B ha. B ha, yes. B ni ni ha, ha. Ha. Okay tak faham kat mana uh, Tak faham Kenapa nak riskan Haa ha. Kenapa awak kena buy a full payment? Sebab no discount kat sini kan awak kan awak dah kira 21, 31, uh, 10, 23 sampai 1, 4 kan awak dah kira kat sini 22 hari kan? Ya 22 hari kan? Okay 22 hari kita tengoklah dekat uh, cash discount term awak ni cash discount term. Cash discount term okay kalau ada bayar dalam masa 15 hari dia akan dapat 10% Okay tapi kat sini dia bayar dalam masa 22 hari. 22 hari dah termasuk dalam ni lah. Kalau yang ni, yang ni no discount ni. No discount. Hmm. Oh. Sebab okay, tu lah okay. kalau no discount Faham. awak kira kan. NP sama dengan LP satu tolak R kan. Ha, jadi LP awak tadi 2680. Ha, satu tolak R, R awak kan pers, uh, R tolak R kan kosong persen Kosong Tak ada diskon jadi sama lah dia balik dengan dua enam Sebab tu dapat Dia no diskon Okay okay Okay, okay faham faham, I say Okay lagi ada soalan? Tak ada. Tak ada eh? Tak ada. Tak ada. Okay. Uh, saya akan. Ni semua kita dah buat dah contoh. So next. Uh, nanti saya akan bagilah. Awak uh, 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 punya. Tutorial. Saya akan bagi awal lah soalan tutorial awak. Okay ada uh, untuk uh, untuk NIT ada soalan ke? Tak ada.
Okay, tak ada. Okay, jawab Google Form ni lah. Oh, bo uh, yang, boleh klik dulu lah awak punya mana yang terlupa nak uh, tak klik lagi awak punya your future boleh klik your future tengok google form ni google form pun klik sekali Okay, awak punya Google Form, kita ni, attendance, Google attendance. 